just in now the, well, it's day 61 of lockdown learning letter of the day today's g for grass just in the, what's going to be the dog field and it's just starting to green over a little bit now and uh, the wildflowers around the edges seem to be coming up as well so hopefully it look, should look good in a few weeks just got to sort the fence out it's not high enough because dogs could jump over it but um maybe next week we might have it ready just it's a long way all the way around to fence it but we'll have to do it if anyone's got a uh, automatic nail gun or sleep gun, let me know just uh, using the Merlot now and the chipper to make some bags of coarse bedded instead of uh, using wood shavings we put bales of um, chopped well it's not chopped the chipper chops it rape straw uh, there's a piece of string going in there that shouldn't go in there and it comes out the other end and uh, it's a bit windy but we're trying to put it in these bags and then you can use it for horse bedding it's just like shavings but uh, more absorbent and obviously a lot a lot lot cheaper it's uh, we need to really make a better better system really of putting it in bags maybe a hopper on a bucket or something where you just shovel it in one end from a bale that's broken there and it comes out the other end like that chopped up Lovely stuff. Just looking at the spring wheat here over the other side of the railway line. There's a railway line. And you can see the dark green stripes where it's got all the some moisture where the tram lines were last year. So you can actually see a bit where we went round that was too wet to drill it. Now it's pretty much dying because it's just not rained. It's a really light green, desperate for moisture. Just looking at some of the beans now. These in this corner here where they've got a bit of shading later on in the day, but they get the sun most of the day. Seem to still have a bit of moisture and they've just got some flowers coming onto them now. So hopefully they'll keep growing and we'll get more flowers all the way up. And we'll get to four or five foot tall. And then each flower then will turn into a pod. Um, guy's supposed to be bringing the bees up later. In fact, there's a bee there now. Where's it gone? Where's he hiding? Bees already found the, some of the flowers now on the pods, but they look okay, I think. So, bye for today.